Pula Ame is a small island off the coast of Penang, Malaysia. The island was first settled by Malays who live in slit houses and relied on fishing and farming. However, the island was already known as a Pulau Amen, which means safe island in Malay language. Legend has it that a group of sailors were caught in a storm and were forced to take shelter on Pulau Amen. They were amazed to find that the island provided them with a national harbor, sheltered from the stormy waters that surrounded them. Grateful for the island's protection, they call it Pula Amen and spread the word among other sailors who began to seek refuge there during a storm and rough weather. During World War II, the Japanese army occupied the island and used it as a location to monitor the shipping lanes in the Strait of Malacca. After the war, the British army re-established their presence on the island and built a lighthouse. The lighthouse became a symbol of safety and the island was later named Pula Amen once again, which became more meaningful after the war. Pula Amen is a well-known tourist spot today, appreciated for its national beauty, lovely beaches and traditional lifestyle. The island's history shows how its people were able to maintain their way of life and the beauty of their island despite war and oppression. The name Puala Amen reminds us of the island's important role in history as a safe haven for sailors and a symbol of safety and hope. Now I am on Pula Amen Island. Uh, I came here by a boat, very small boat. And as you can see, uh, here uh, are a lot of boats, small boats. Uh, they use them for getting fish and also for uh, transfer people to this island. I pay, I pay, I pay. You, you want high or low? This bicycle, it's so better than that one. Riding bicycle with this bicycle is very difficult. It is the most difficult bicycle that I drive. It's so small and short. No, no, come, come. Here is well. Uh, this well is tourist attraction uh, on this island, but I don't know why it is. Uh, because, in my opinion, uh, there is not anything special. If you know, please uh, write your comment about this well. There is an obstacle here. I think we can go. We can go, but we should be careful. The road has a little difficulty, so we put our bicycle near a tree and we decide to walk. Where? Oh, we are here, right? I can't believe my eyes. The view is absolutely incredible. From here you can see both bridge, Penai Island and Kumta. You can see uh, here is the longest bridge, the second bridge, Penai Island. And from here you can see Kumta. It is completely obvious. And also the first bridge. I will come here again because here is so amazing. 
uh, here is like pristine nature you can come here and uh, relax because uh, rarely you can see people here um, if you live in Penai Island or you want to travel here this island is the best idea to relax to come here and relax I will come here because I really like this area and also I heard that this island has very delicious seafood uh, we will try together and I will show you guys near sea you can see a lot of seashell I wish I could find any pearl inside it but of course I cannot Wow, this is so, so nice. But I think it's not a stone, it's fussy. Or it's a bone. Because here you can see nose. Maybe it's for a snake, I'm not sure. In this jungle you can see various kind of plants and animals and insects for example you can see a lot of ants on stones or everywhere uh, but luckily we didn't see any white animal but local people told us it's better not to go to inside the jungle because it's dangerous without any tour, uh, tour and leader so now we are backing to our bicycle and then go to residential area to have our lunch Oh, it's prawn noodle then here, it's mm. seafood then the outside one. We ordered two uh, noodle prawn, one fried, one normal. Oh, okay. Any meat meal down? Is there anything special here to take video from uh, this special thing? Okay, uh, actually there's definitely nothing special here. It's a uh, food, uh -huh. um, fresh seafood. here live simply uh, away from luxury lifestyle or advanced technologies in my opinion the quality of their life is much better than us who live in crowded city because they have few worries and uh, they are happy and enjoy living here here is so good uh, here I feel so comfortable and calm I like here In this city, I think around 2,000 people live. I'm not sure about that. 2,000, 3,000 people live here. But as you can see, the houses are so simple. The lifestyle is so simple.
As I told you, uh, their houses are so simple, but they decorate as well as they could. For example, they put a lot of flowers around their houses, and uh, you can see a lot of bird cage. They decorate it with some rope and lights and everything that they have. Here is wedding and you can see a lot of people here from other states uh, they came here to, to participate in this ceremony. Oh thank you so much, thank you so much, thank you. Oh she's so kind, she gave it to me. Thank you so much. People here are so kind and friendly and warm-blooded. She came here and gave me another thing. No, I am in the second restaurant. Uh, this restaurant is famous for having seafood. Uh, I think this restaurant is much more famous than that one. Uh, uh, we ordered mantis prawn. Uh, it's not prawn, it is boy. And uh, this restaurant is so crowded and that's it. <laughs> the food is like this, it is like insect. It's not like shrimp, but... It's from the shrimp It's hot. Try this weird food. Not weird, weird for me. A small pieces with sauce. This food cannot get my like. Only not bad. Now there is a line I should say here to get on the boat. It's time to back home. If you enjoy watching this video, subscribe to my channel and give me a like. Goodbye. See you next video.